Today we're going to discuss variax, both single phase and three phase. What are variax? Variax are variable transformers. In other words, if you put 240 volts into a winding and you have a moving arm which moves up and down, you're able to adjust the output voltage in accordance with the position on the on the auto transformer winding. Variax are normally made as a toroidal transformer, that is they are a circular transformer. So typically you have an active coming in at 240, you have a neutral coming in at zero volts, you have a moving arm which moves up and down and that can move actually up to 270 and then down to zero which is here. The input stays the same of course and the moving arm contacts the windings by use of a carbon brush on the top of the windings. I'll explain with the example. This is a 10 amp variac which I've pulled apart. Here you can see the moving arm with the carbon brush. The carbon brush looks like that for a 10 amp unit. The carbon brush is made of specific material, has a specific tension due to the spring that pushes it down and it has a very important set dimension. So as the variac moves around, so the voltage changes. So you move around and you change the voltage. This is the toroidal transformer. So this is a single phase variac and this is what it looks like. It has various connections on the inside where you can actually change the maximum voltage depending on what your input voltage is. If it's 220 or 230 or 240, you can adjust and change the taps on the input side when you set it up. Always comes with a, an approved plug, which is a three pin plug. The uh, earth is connected to the frame of the variac. The active connects normally to the, normally to the B point and the neutral normally connects to the C point on the connection board. There's an LED which goes up inside that tube there <coughs> and the LED will tell you whether the power is uh, applied to the variac winding. So that's single phase. This is a three phase variac. In other words, it's got one, two, three phases inside one housing. So you've got A phase, B phase and C phase. They're all controlled by one handle at the top here. So I'm moving those and, and it's contacting three brushes, three variacs at a time to control the three phase. Same as single phase, same principle, but just using three at a time. This particular variac has fuse, circ, fuse protection on the output side, which we show here which is very useful because if you have a short in the, on the load side the fuse will instantaneously blow and protect the windings. If you don't have this or a circuit breaker you could potentially cause a lot of damage to the variac and mean that it will be unusable. So we strongly recommend fuse or circuit breaker protection on the moving arm. In terms of applications of the variac it's quite often used in testing, in voltage regulation, in lighting control, and university and TAFE laboratories quite often use them. So this is where it's quite often used. The Variac doesn't have isolation input to output, so you have to be very careful with it because there's no protection uh, input to output. In other words, if you touch that terminal there and it's at high voltage, you can get electric shock. So it only, it's only to be used by people that are uh, technicians or electricians or uh, people that understand what an auto transformer is, because this is just an auto transformer. Um, an MEN, the neutral and the earth are connected back at the switchboard, so you have an, ME, uh, an MEN connection. That means you can use 
uh, residual current device or an earth leaking circuit breaker here on the output side to protect you against electric shock. And that's something that uh, in a TAFE or in a laboratory <coughs> would be recommended. So that's uh, about it. Normally they're made to and tested to uh, IEC 5142 standard. Uh, that's an international standard. Um, the, the brush, the brushes are important. The machining of the top of the the machining of this here, the machining of this section here is very important because this is actually acid etched and machined so that you get a smooth movement of the brush. The windings here are all epoxy encapsulated, so they're epoxy to hold the winding solid. Um, normally you have to use also 180 degree C enamel wire to make sure that it is capable of high temperature. You never run a variac continuously at its maximum rating. Normally if it's a 10 amp variac, it'll normally only be used at 9 amps continuous. Variacs also come in um, oil impregnated, so when we get to, to 100, like 40, 50, 100, 200, 300, 400 amps, they're oil impregnated. They have, um, they're used with automatic electronic control, not manual control like, like this one is. We also offer on our 10 amp Variax, our 10 amp single phase Variax, uh, the option for meters. You can have digital volt meters and digital amp meters, or you can have analog volt meters and analog uh, amp meters. Uh, there is also a, uh, uh, a switch, a GPO switch, where you can switch it on and off on the output, so you just plug your device into it. They are optional extras to the in addition to the 10 amp unit, only on the 10 amp unit.